I'd like to show you a technique. This is actually what I call an impossible structure. It's not really impossible, but uh, if you don't know the technique that's used, it can be rather difficult to figure out or to build. So this is what I call the, the eagle. And what we're doing is starting out making a base here. And these pieces are just temporary supports. So I'm going to put these in place there. And it's a little bit, you can see it's unstable right now. But as I add a block to it, it will become more stable. And this takes two hands as we, uh, as we build, add the layers to this. And after we've added enough layers, you'll see that the, uh, the pressures have come down and are supporting these blocks enough that we'll be able to remove these temporary supports. So let's put a few layers on there. You just have to be a little bit cautious as you add these layers, because you can see it wobbling a little bit. And we'll do another layer there. And we'll just go out this far. We could we could be going out there, and we may want to do that after we add a few more layers, and that will become more and more stable. Now you have to use your imagination a little bit to get a, an eagle out of this, but if you imagine these are like the outer wing feathers, And we can slide some in here. You can see there's enough weight here now that it will tolerate those additions. They might have been difficult to do at the first, first layer. We can do a second one there. And if we wanted to, I think it's strong enough, we might be able to go out. That might be about just about the limit, but you can see we can get out quite far with that by carefully placing those in there. And we'll just go just a little bit higher just so you can get an idea for this. And that's how we can get an eagle. Let me remove these first. You can see now that if I carefully remove those, that those that stays in place. And now we can use these to make sort of the look of an eagle. There you go, there's his neck. And so he looks a little bit like an eagle from either side. If you're careful, you could do this without, uh, without these pieces. I use those to, uh, to help measure it. I can, if I'm careful, lift up this whole thing, set it on the table, and there it looks a little bit more artistic. Now, normally, you would want uprights to be turned in a little bit, and that would make it more stable. But in this case, I think it looks a little bit more elegant to have it like that. So that's how you do uh, what I call an impossible structure, because you would be, uh, it would seem impossible to do that uh, if you didn't know the trick.